Hello, everyone. In this talk, I will give you an overview about our paper, Sparasonic, Monitoring Human Lung Function via Acoustic Sensing on Commodity Smartphones. My name is Wei Gao. I'm an associate professor from the University of Pittsburgh, and this is a joint work with my students and the clinical collaborators at the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. This work allows people to do accurate, adaptive, and reliable spirometry tests in regular home settings by themselves. Since spirometry is the most commonly used test to measure human lung function, it is the most important clinical tool to evaluate and track the progress of respiratory diseases, such as asthma, COPD, and even COVID-19. This picture shows how a spirometry test is taken in clinic, where the patient should stay still and maintain an upright posture to ensure a clear lung airway. Then, he should first deeply inhale and then exhale hard to quickly expel as much air as he can from the lung. The test results are then represented by this graph that correlates the volume and the velocity of the exhaled airflow, and several lung function indices can be calculated to measure the lung function. The goal of Sparasonic is to accurately and reliably measure these indices. So compared with the existing RF and acoustic sensing work that measures human respiration rates or sleep apnea, our major difficulty is that the lung function is an internal body characteristic rather than a observable event, so it is hard to be precisely measured by smartphones from external. To address this difficulty, our key insight is that the lung function has been clinically proved to correlate to humans' chest wall motion inference, and such motion can be used as an external biomarker to measure lung function. In Sparasonic, we measure such chest wall motion via acoustic sensing in our smartphones, and then track, extract the specific motion features that are used to estimate the lung function indices via neural network regression. From this design, Spirosonic is 100% contactless and is very easy to use. It is highly accurate and can adapt to different human factors and dynamics. Addressing these human factors actually is the major technical challenge for Spirosonic in regular home settings, when people are doing spirometry tests by themselves without clinical guidance. First, Spirosonic always assumes that the patient handholds the smartphone so that they can do spirometry anytime and anywhere. However, the motion of the holding hand could be incorrectly mixed with the measured chest wall motion. Similarly, when the patient exhales hard, his body may move, and such body motion may similarly be counted as part of the chest wall motion. Finally, the patient may not strictly follow the spirometry protocol. The corresponding poor efforts in spirometry tests may degrade the quality of acquired data. All these factors contribute to inaccurate measurement of chest wall motion, and we develop a signal processing techniques to address each of these factors separately. Please refer to our paper for details. We implemented the Sparasonic as a smartphone app and evaluated its accuracy first in lab controlled conditions with five healthy student volunteers. Each volunteer uses both Sparasonic Sparasonic and a clinical grade spirometer at the same time and compare their results. The experimental results show that after we, we removed all the irrelevant hand and body motions, the error of estimating lung function indices to be lower than 3%, and the one hour use of Sparasonic only consumes 15% of smartphone battery. We also evaluated the Sparasonic's performance with different system setups, including different measurement distances, phone placements, for models and the surrounding environments. It shows very good reliability and consistency in all these conditions. Further, when people are wearing clothes with different fabrics and thicknesses, the impact on our accuracy is also very small. We collaborated with the Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh and conducted a clinical study over 83 pediatric patients. The study is conducted under a similar setup by using clinical spirometer to collect the ground truth. Our study showed that a Sparasonic can achieve less than 15% error on all the lung function indices. If we average the result over multiple spirometry trials, the error could be further reduced. In particular, Sparasonic has low error over most of the patients, and the overall accuracy is mainly affected by the three outliers that fail to follow the spirometry protocol. If we exclude these outliers, Sparasonic can achieve an error within 5 to 10%. This number is comparable to that of the clinical grade spirometers. From these results, we believe that Spirosonic could be used as a reliable tool to track the progress of respiratory diseases out of clinic, and could also contribute to early evaluation of possible COVID-19 infections.